Okay, we've been looking at dictionaries. There's many things you can do with dictionaries, or, or rather, there are many messages that a dictionary object can receive. So let's look at a few of them. For instance, we want to know how many objects there are. We can print the size. There's five objects. Remember, we put in five presidents' names and their birthdays, so we have five objects. We can also do something interesting. For instance, suppose we want to print out all the birthdays, all the values. We can say, my dictionary, do. Yes, dictionaries know how to do things. Create a little variable to accept the values. What's going to happen is for every entry in the dictionary, the dictionary is going to go through and return its value, in this case, a birthday. And then we're going to say transcript show values. Let's make that value to make sure we understand that it's a single value that's being returned at a time carriage return. Notice the semicolon there. We send show value to transcript. The semicolon, the semicolon indicates we're going to send another message to transcript. And then we're done. Now we evaluate this and if I have no typos, watch what happens. There's one birthday, two birthday, three birthday, four birthday, five birthday. Okay, so there's many other things you can do too. You can say, my dictionary keys do. And what do you think that will do? It prints out the keys. In this case, the presidents that we entered originally. And of course, this entire set of, of characters, the, the George Washington arrow, February 2nd, etc., that is called an association. So we can say, my dictionary associations do. We have to spell it right. Associations do. So we're sending the value association or the message associations do and telling my dictionary to get all the associations and then perform this little bit of code with each association. So let's do this and watch what happens. Now it prints out all five of the associations. James Monroe, Arrow, April 28th, etc. And there's many other things you can do with dictionaries. In fact, there's many other things you can do with all sorts of containers. That's what a dictionary is. It's considered a container. It allows you to put an arbi arbitrary number of objects inside another object. In fact, we already know about another kind of container, that's the array. We said my array do. And we could actually put my array do and show what happens. So let's, should we do that? Yeah, I think you can figure it out. It's just going to show a, a list of everything in a specific array that we've created. So you get the idea. There's many, many things you can do with any of the, of the classes that are defined within Smalltalk. A class is basically a type of object. And when you say dictionary, that's the class name, new, the dictionary class will actually go through and create a new dictionary. And that new dictionary, as you can see, can be manipulated. So, now you know a little bit more 
about how dictionaries work in small talk.